Hi everybody, I'm Shane Carey, I'm the director of Represent Anaclectic Productions and these are some lovely, lovely young people who work with us. They're going to introduce themselves uh, when they speak uh, but we're going to share the presentation because I really want you to see the results of some of the work we do. Escaping the cycle of poverty is really hard when you come from an area that's stuck in it. You know, you see the riots on TV, teenage pregnancy, gun and knife crime, high unemployment, uh, welfare dependent families, phrases you hear all the time. We don't want anybody to have to live in that kind of situation because we know how to avoid it. Everybody has a spark, but without good education, positive role models and a stable family support, it is much harder to use it. We give the first two and we support young people to aim higher. I was at an event recently and someone turned around to me and said, why can't they just get jobs? Well, they can, but they need the tools to do it. Helping them to define their goals, get the skills to achieve them, but particularly confidence and belief in themselves. Stop, hold up and pay attention because this is Represent 107.3 FM, London's only youth-led radio station. You're listening to Represent 107.3 FM with me, Lily Daniels. How are you, young London? I'm Zoe Marcuse. <laughs> you are locked on to Free of a Kind 107.3 with myself and the lovely Paisley. DJ Moxie here on Represent 107.3. We've also got our resident DJ, DJ Silent Sam on the UK Funky today. So it's the Jam Show, Represent 107.3. Lunch with Rachel today. No, I am Tom Mason. You are locked on to me, Nicole. My name is Tarek. With your girl, Sandy. Now you listen to Jay. My name is Martha. I'm Sharifa. And I'm Henry. It's me, your girl, Christelle. I'm DJ Neva. DJ T.Y. Shy Guy. I'm Tia. It's Sari. Nathan. It's Holly. Shad. And Laura. Hey, my name is Io, and to me, Represent is a platform enabling young people to excel through the use of radio and media. But more importantly, Represent gives us a voice. With the assistance of the Represent team, you're given the best training available and we are challenged to improve our skills and ultimately ourselves. My two years with Represent has seen me going from learning the ins and outs of radio to teaching other young people the same thing. And never in a million years would I have thought that I'd be strolling in number 10, waving goodnight to the Prime Minister's children. <laughs> but radio is different and with Represent, I'm no longer just a 15-year-old girl, but someone with the potential to make a difference. Hi, my name is Shinazo Anechi, and um, Represent has given me a great head start into my career in media through my managerial role over Connect, who are the team of presenters that I work with. <coughs> Two years ago, I was a quiet, introverted 13-year-old with not much of an idea of what career paths to follow, and I just had the potential to excel. And um, Represent has really helped me get out there by giving me the opportunity to get in touch with the biggest names in music and media, and allowed me to actually get the same experience as those that are double my age. I come from a really rough area in Manchester myself, Moss Side. You might have heard of it, it's quite famous for the riots back in 1980 something. Um, but I left school at 13 with no GCSEs, um, had an unstable family, um, hung around with other people in my kind of situation and I was getting in a lot of trouble. Um, I would definitely have ended up in prison, or a lot worse, if it hadn't been for an inner city theatre group that took me in. They believed in me and gave me the confidence and support to do better with my life. And that's why I love what we do now. Just seeing the results of what we do makes me feel great. Hi, I'm Kyle. Um, I recently got arrested in the summer riots and um, when the judge told me I was going to prison, I literally brought it down and um, I was on medication and everything, and it was just really a bad time. And then um, I told the judge about Represent, and then she made an exception. Even though I was on stringent bail conditions, she made an exception that I could still go there and get involved. And when Represent found out about the whole situation I was in, they was really like, behind me, they wrote references, they made an action plan to help me, um, to, um, to really help me in the court case. And in result of them helping me, I'm here today to speak to all of you about it now. And um, yeah, even now they've given me job, job opportunities and to help me brighten my future, so yeah, it's been real. So can you imagine if he'd have gone to prison for a year? You know, what, what good would that have done him? Imagine the year after that, what's going to happen? You know, terrible. Young people who are not in education, training or employment for over six months are five times more likely to get involved in crime. More importantly, their expectations on life are really low. We don't want that. 
We recently worked with a group of 10 young people who'd been excluded from school and we taught them communication skills and radio. Uh, now they've just gone through the GCSEs and of the 10, seven are projected to get uh, 10 GCSEs. Five of them have booked a college place in September. Now, we started about 10 years ago with one microphone and a mini disc player and we were working with young offenders to teach them communication skills. Now we've got a full-time FM London radio station and lots and lots of young people to do all the programming. We get young people referred from schools, youth services, youth offending services and we've got a list of over 300 that have signed up via the website to get involved. To get on the radio though, they have to go through a series of training and they have to get qualifications. And this is where they learn to listen, speak well, present themselves, work in a team, develop literacy and numeracy skills. Numeracy skills, I could do them myself. Um, the foundation they need to get jobs, further education and work experience. We work with them because we believe in them. You know, we look at the whole person and, and support them where they want to go. Now there's an opportunity here for you to change lives. Every thousand pound that you donate tonight will help a Geneva to get a GCSEs or help a Kyle to get a better option than prison. More importantly, your support will help us to replicate this system of development in new areas. Right, now it's my turn. Oh. <laughs> so I've been through a change. You're probably thinking, how old is she about change? But no, it's true. Radio's turned my life around from having a regular spot in the naughty room at school to being given opportunities I would have only dreamed of. Hard to believe, but before radio, probably would have been kicked out of school, which means I wouldn't be expecting 12 GCSE results. 12. <laughs> and I know for a fact I wouldn't have the confidence to speak to you guys today. In other words, radio changed my life. Look at that. <laughs>